Welcome back to Spore and Sprout. In this video, I wanted to show you how I collect spores from lion's mane mushrooms. All I am doing here is placing a piece of aluminum foil under the maturing mushroom where the spores will drop. Lion's mane starts dropping spores once the tendrils start elongating and the spores are white so they are difficult to see until there is a massive amount of them on the foil. In the case where the mushroom is too big to fit the foil underneath, you can use some risers to raise the block up. During the spore printing, there was no humidity system running in the tent and there was no air currents. This grow was part of an experiment of growing lion's mane without light or environmental controls and it was a success all the way up to spore collection. I'll leave that video in the description below showing all the steps I took to make these lion's mane blocks and fruit them without electricity. Lion's mane has white spores, kind of hard to see, but we're just going to harvest all these spore prints. Fold them up, keep them right here. After adding the foil under the mushrooms, it only took a few days for all those spores to deposit onto the foil. So now when I need a fresh culture of lion's mane, I can just start germinating these spores. If you want to know how to germinate spores, I'll link a video in the description that will show you how to do that. This one is completely covered, even though you can't see it because the spores are white, but you can feel it. About 27, 27 spore prints. Just push all the air out, seal it up. Now we got like 27 lines main spore prints, so I'd say trillions. Trillions and trillions of spores. And now, we've got to harvest the mushroom. You don't want to breathe the spores in, so make sure to wear a mask while entering a grow tent with spore-relating mushrooms. An N95 mask is best. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, or you can join the Discord community. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Another thing is, is when we were making these spore prints, there was no humidity in here to help contaminate the spore prints. So like it was dry in here, basically, and no air current, so the spores were able to just land on the on the aluminum foil. And so we'll always be able to go back to spore to keep the cultures fresh. All right, let's get out of here.